In this short tutorial, I will show you how we can use the Flight Path Marker as an aid to flying the landing approach. The Flight Path Marker indicates the total velocity vector of the aircraft and shows the pilot the instantaneous direction of flight. If the Flight Path Marker is placed on the ground, it would indicate the point of impact if the pilot were to take no action to alter the flight path. Pull up! Here we are flying level at 2,000 feet towards runway 06. Note the flight path marker is on the horizon line in the HUD. Our intention is to fly a 3 degree visual approach. We fly level until the touchdown point is 3 degrees below the horizon line. Now pitch the nose down and place the flight path marker on the touchdown point. The aircraft now commences a 3 degree descent path. Make small corrections to keep the flight path marker symbol on the touchdown point. As the gear is lowered, the angle of attack indicator is displayed in the HUD. At this point, there is a big change in the pitch attitude and the speed reduces. Keep the flight path marker on the touchdown point. Set the thrust to maintain an 8 degree angle of attack. The indicator airspeed is now steady at 132 knots. At 1000 feet, the HUD altimeter tape is replaced by the radio altitude tape. Keep the flight path marker on the touchdown point and maintain an 8 degree angle of attack. Crossing the runway threshold, reduce the thrust to flight idle and pitch the gun cross up 10 degrees and the aircraft will arrive on the centre line. In a crosswind landing situation, the flight path marker is also a useful aid to flying the approach. In this example, the wind is coming from our left. Note that the nose of the aircraft is pointing left at the centre to counteract the drift. However, the flight path marker is on the touchdown point, indicating a steady 3 degree flight path towards the runway. Take care not to give too much attention to the flight path marker that vital configuration speed changes are overlooked. Too low gear. Pull up. 